December 1st is not forgotten. We are the political prisoners of the empty powers the first day. On that limbo, we were victims of arbitrary arrests, physical, psychological and sexual violence. Basic human rights violations such as freedom of expression, free transit and peaceful protest. Many were just walking by. Others were defending young people that were being beaten. Some were shopping, others were declaiming poetry, others were documenting with their cameras, and many others were just peacefully protesting. Today, none of us feel free, because we left 14 of our companions imprisoned. People that went through cold, fear, hunger, and uncertainty with us. But we also shared dreams, gazes, we gave each other strength. People that are now our brothers and sisters, Nurse, profession that speaks about people that are compromised with the caring about the people. Musician, he only asks to be freed or a guitar to accompany him on his wedding days. Husband, father, political science student who filled us with literature while we were inside. Guitar student and nature lover. Roberto Fabián Duarte. Señora Homeless Silva, man who was picked up for being asleep outside the Bellas Artes building. Carlos Miguel Ángel García Rojas, amante Electronic de music lover. Daniel García Vázquez. Student who was obligated by the police to touch a grenade which has kept him imprisoned. Estiliano García Báquimes. Falsely accused to be one of the leaders and awaits his liberation. Sandino Jaramillo Rojas. Student and photographer. He lost his working equipment at the arrest. He was just exercising his greatest passion, taking pictures. A public worker, a scholar that conducts art workshops for kids as part of a foundation. He was walking with his wife when he defended various young people from the police brutality. Reason why he got arrested and is still in jail. Known as the shoe shine boy, also a homeless kid that was shining shoes at his usual place. Student compromised with education dedicated to carry out workshops to less fortunate people in marginalized communities. Professor, father, husband, he was like a blanket for all of us inside prison. Romanian, reporter. He has been freed, but awaits deportation for exercising his profession. We demand to the authorities the immediate release of our 13 companions detained at the northern prison and Rita Emilia, the only woman who is still detained at the Santa Marta Catitla prison. We are not free until everyone is free. We are not free until everyone is free. We are not free until everyone is free. We are not free until everyone is free.